Going to school isn't always fun for some students, but at Red Boiling Springs High School, at least one class there provides kids hands-on experience in a field that they can actually make a career after they graduate high school. We have to wait till the heat press gets up to 400, so you guys are going to bring the uh, protective paper and put it on the press. Okay. Then you're going to bring the t-shirts and line them up and we're going to press them. This is transition class. It is a school-based enterprise. About six years ago we got the ERA money from the government and we visited some sites and we were wondering what we could do for our students with disabilities that could prepare them for the future. And so we went to Monroe County High School in Kentucky and we um, visited and we saw the school-based enterprise, the same system that they have there. Mm -hmm. And we purchased the equipment and just by January we were going, just going strong. So you talked about the equipment. Tell me specifically what you guys bought. Uh, we bought a heat press okay. and a gel sublimation printer and uh, Corel Draw and a good starter package for all the materials that we use. So what kinds of things do you guys make here and what do you help the students make and, and, and just kind of walk me through the process of, of how you actually get something made? Okay, um, a customer will call in or email or uh, just find me in the school building or find some of the students in the school building and they'll say we need some things made. Um, our biggest seller around here is t-shirts, dog tags, and uh, we do our plaques for our service learning and our graduation and our beauty pageants that we have. And uh, so they send us a design and we put it on the computer and design it up with Corel Draw, print it out on the heat pre uh, printer, mm -hmm. put it on the heat press, press it down, and go. Now, when this class first started, did you think that you'd have the community actually wanting to buy things from the class, or, or was it just one of those things where you were just trying to teach kids how to make these kinds of things? Well, we intended for our community to be involved. That's a big part of a student's IEP is community involvement, okay. and that's an individualized education program for our students with special needs. And one of the biggest things is getting them out in the community, talking to people, and improving their social skills. Mm -hmm. And since we're doing that, we really hoped that we would appeal to the community. We started out real small. We were selling to our Board of Education. We were selling locally within the school building. And then um, it just grew, and we sell a lot to the community now. We work with our local Lions Club. We worked with our Rotary Club. We've worked with our local hotels and made stuff for them as well. Well, now, has it surprised you that, that so many people have ordered things from you all? Absolutely. We didn't realize that it was going to be quite this big. <laughs> um, around Christmas, we get really busy. I have to set a strict December 1st cutoff date so that we don't get overwhelmed when it comes to Christmas time. Mm -hmm. uh, Valentine's is another big day for us. Also, the end of the year, getting all our graduation, service learning, and stuff like that. How do you see the kids change, the stu students in this class? How do they change from day one until maybe the last day of the school year as far as once they've started learning how to, to make these things? Well, a specific example, we had a student who came into the school year wanting to be a mechanic. And uh, she was, her brothers were mechanics. She was going to be a mechanic. And after working with this program, she decided that she was going to go into graphic design. And she's in college right now for graphic design. That's got to be very rewarding as a teacher. Absolutely. I love seeing the students plan for the future. And um, they really love this class because they take ownership with it. Mm -hmm. And the products that they make, they um, really see as such an accomplishment. Talk about this class and tell me, what do you enjoy about this class? Uh, doing hands-on stuff without having to handle, or without having to do work and listen to teachers talk all the time. After taking the class, do you think maybe you'd like to do this maybe in the future, possibly? Probably, if I can't find nothing else. My favorite part about this class is I, I'm more of a hand-on type guy. I don't like mental work. I, I enjoy it, but I mean, I don't really, I can't really understand it. Like math, I can't, I'm not good at math. But you like working with your hands in this class, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. What have you made so far that you've been really proud of? Mugs, t-shirts. Yeah cutting boards and all types of things. Is it difficult to make these things or is it fairly simple? It's fairly simple. Yeah, it's, it's not that hard to put it on there and get to work. 
Is it kind of neat knowing that, that there, just, there are very few students in this school that actually get to be in this class, and, and you're one of them, and, and you get to learn things outside of just having maybe, say, a lecture session? Yeah, I think it's really good that uh, the school board has something that where you can work on hands-on type work and learn about the outer world and what we can do on that, like how it's going to be on the real world. And do you think by taking this class that you might even possibly want to pursue this as a career possibly one day? Uh, yeah, possibly. I, I mean, I like doing this kind of work. I mean, it's fun. It's really entertaining. I love math and I love teaching uh, algebra and geometry, but I absolutely love this class. Um, the kids get real life algebra and geometry in this. We have to make measurements on the things that we make, have to make sure that the pictures match up with the items that we're making, and so we deal with that as well. If you would like to request an item from this class, call Brandy Hayes at Red Boiling Springs High School. The number is 615-699-3125. Reporting in Macon County, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.